before I do the clan pulls, I'm going to make a little bit of space so I don't have to do quite as many back and forths. This is not going to be a long broadcast, um, but go ahead and tag her. All right, so like I said, what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw some minions into storage so I have space to, actually I can just get rid of that guy. So I have space to do the summons without having to do a lot of inventory management. Oh, actually, I'm going to show you a PvP team that I have that I've been using. It's quite amusing. I think you'll find it entertaining to see what this PvP team does. Uh, throw some more of these in. You did notice that they only used a... Um, oh, nice. Actually, you know, I pulled a Hades, I think, from Normal Eggs 2 not all that long ago. a few more to get these out of my inventory so I have slots. Alright, that was a good number. Alright, check check out this PvP team. So this is a PvP team with two four stars and two five stars. Assuming my, I did press the button. Wait, there we go. So I've got a Tanya and uh, a Cupid with the Merlin and the Shadow. Papaya, you're so funny, just sitting over there watching me. Alright, so I'm going to start off going after the Succubus. They've got two Taunters on their team, so I just have to hope that I don't get my low resistance guys get taunted off. I don't mind the Shadow getting taunted, but it will behoove me to take the Succubus out early if I can. If I can get the shield off, I'll stop the taunts being an issue, and I will get the shield off, which is excellent. Shield actually held, so I actually don't need to pop another shield out just yet. Um, I am going to go ahead and tag this Miho. She doesn't have her boost running, and the Persephone, I think, is going to. Yep, she's going to ults and not do any damage to me. So I'll repop the shield. Maybe, there we go. The Merlin, the Tanya, and we'll go ahead and take out the Succubus. Hey, Omano, how you doing? This is my entertaining team that I put together for PvP fight. The two four stars, two five star team. The Merlin is running a stun set. Let's go ahead and repop the shield just because. Um, I'm going to take the SP from her so I have some more. Oh, look at that. She doesn't actually have her defense boost running anymore because I had stunned her. Well, let's see if I can make that a lot worse for her. Just because they're low, I'm going to go ahead and hit them instead of repopping the shield. And then just deal with the Persephone. What do you guys think of the new hero dungeon?
And yes, the game is still alive. They actually just put in a whole bunch of changes um, Tuesday of this week. They've got a new hero dungeon where you can go and get five star soul shards uh, three times a day. Alright, so that was PvP, but I'm going to do clan pulls now. Because that's actually why I came on, was to do the clan pulls. Oh, I've got these little guys. You know, I've not noticed before, I never saw that you can actually see mountains in the distance on the, uh, the map. So like off, I don't know if Twitch lets you actually see it, but off you can see the mountains on the, the water with the moon over there too. That's a, that's a nice little touch. Alright, special shop. They reduced the number of clan festival points required to get the um, guaranteed egg, which is pretty cool. Alright, so let's do uh, some summons. Papaya, what are you doing? My cat's over there, I'm not sure what she's doing. I'm going to go through these quickly. Um, normally I would do the one at a time, but I just don't have the time to do that tonight. Uh, three four stars is not bad though. And we'll tag that again. Oh, they also made it so um, three times a day you can get 100 energy for free, which is awesome. Oh, look at that second. Oh my god, no way. No way! Look at that! I just got the chills from seeing that. That's so cool! I'm, I'm actually going to... I'm recording this and streaming it, but I'm going to take a snapshot of this, because absolutely no way did I just get this pull on the second pull. Oh my god. Uh, file, save as... I'm just going to call this Oh My God Pull. Oh my god, MSL pull. Do you guys see that pull that I just got? Two Odins. Are you having a good time? I just got two five stars and one of them was a variant. So yes, yes, and yes. Thank you very much. I'm going to accept the gifts. Bunch of essence. That was absolutely awesome. All right, well, um, I don't think I can top the pull that I just had, but uh, the goal was to get the four-star egg the first time. So, so I will do some more pulls to do that. Skip all. Oh my God! I got another five-star. What the heck? I've I've gone, no joke, like 12,000 Astrodems without getting a single 5 star. I've gotten three 5 stars in 1,800 Astrodems. I've done three pulls. That's absolutely bonkers. That's awesome. I, I was not expecting... Oh, I was asking about the Variant Lucy's, because the you can get a Variant Lucy if you put Variant 4 stars in, right? I tried two pulls with three Variants 4 stars in there, didn't get a Lucy on either of them, and then I tried one pull with two Variants. So I had two 15% chances and one 10% chance. Did not score a single Variant Lucy, so that was sad. But I guess this was the game making it up for me by giving me three 5 stars. Yeah, through the Four Star Rebirth. Um, the Four Star Rebirth right now is doing Lucy's.
and the variant Lucy's, some of them, I really like the color schemes on them. I, really, I, I want to make a wood Lucy that's a variant just because the color scheme looks awesome. Um, but I need a variant Lucy or a variant Gleam to pull that off. Don't have either of those. Yeah, dump, you dump your variant four stars if you've got them. Um, I would, if I had to go back and do it over again, I probably would do two variants and one normal on each pull, because then this way over the course, if you you have a ten percent chance every time. Um, in theory, if you did that ten times, uh, you would have enough to get the actual uh, a guaranteed variance based on the odds. If and and I tried because I didn't have that many to just do it in three, uh, didn't happen. Um, let me see here. A few gifts. Let me grab that gift. Wait, it said there was a gift to you. That was weird. Um, but my summon is that where I needed to go for this? Now, see, yeah, so here is where you would put your variant Lucy's in. Um, I could get this. I already got the free Astrogem sets out of it. I could do the next one to get the, the lighter dark. I have a light and a dark at Evo 3 already. I was just hoping to get a variant. Didn't, like I said, did not land that. Um, I might need to do, I think I need to do some more just because I need to be able to do the, yeah. All right, well, I got an egg. Let me go get my egg. I'm going to hatch that. And then I'm going to do some more pulls. Actually, I'll need to melt some Master Gems first, but I'll, I'll do some pulls shortly. So the egg. Yeah, but the variant Lucy's, their ability, uh, really, a, that egg gave me a Hannah. That's it. Um, the variant Lucy is the crit down, so it drops the PvP team's crit chance against you, which is an incredible ability to have on your lead Astromon. Alright, so I'm just going to do a quick setup. I'm, actually, it's good I paused here because I do need a melt to make space. So all of my melties are standing up in front of me to melt. I'm keeping sea stars because I'm making a couple more dark sea stars. Keep the Mihos because I'm going to use them for ingredients for later. I can't believe I got the two Odins. I'm going to, oh, she's got pink hair. Look at that. Nice. Okay, so we're just going to let those all loose. Let it process. Gold, gold eggs. Gold, some gems. Not bad. All right, so the sea stars, I'm, like I said, I'm keeping those just because they're being kept for that specific purpose. These are actual ingredient mons, which are those two. Store that. I might do the Lucy pulls that I need later, so I'm just going to toss these into storage for the time being so they're out of the way. Curious about her. What she? Oh, she's a leader five. Look at that. That's awesome. All right. Well, well, I know of Astromon that I need to make an Evo three at some point. I actually think I have. How many of them do I have currently? I thought I had at least one more. I might have sacrificed her. Nope. I've got. If I get one more, I'll have enough to make the Evo three with gleams eventually. I just need to get one more of them. Oh, oh, wrong spot. Okay. 
cat is hiding in the corner on a plastic bag because that's where she wants to be. Another five star. Oh, I've never gotten one of her. Oh, sweet. I, you'll have to excuse me. I'm going to have to go look at her because that's the first time I've actually gotten one of those units. Wonder which one the wood unit is. Oh, she's a courageous striker and a damage reductor for the entire team. Wow, that's going to be awesome against the Colossus units. That's awesome. Oop, I actually wanted to look at what she looked like. That's really cool. That's the, I think that's the newest of the five star hero or newest of the five star mons. She looks really nice. How would you like to help me? Gilgamesh rush into another area. We're still about evaluating. I told him to stay in, in the airship. It doesn't sound like people out of the ordinary fellow to talk. Say anything the problem is he ends up defeating an outlast in here, including those that we were trying to catch. Say anything like seeing them run and that also normal for him. Just wonder how true if he doesn't listen to me. He always does whatever he wants. He ignores the master's orders and always takes a fight if he thinks you're strong. You're really having a tough time with him. Please help him. Keto. Master, you said you didn't mind him doing whatever he wanted because he was so strong. Yeah, but how do you think things will go if I'm there? I think it will be different simply because it's my role to watch over Gilgamesh. Yeah, I thought having you there would make things better. There's a problem. I'm only his friend. I also cannot also act like his master. You're so cruel. You're really just going to stand by and watch. You must show him your majesty to bring him in line. Then would I do that? He just stops doing anything. Yes, he's difficult that way. Anyway, you're the only one he calls a friend, right? That is true. But have you ever thought of just throwing in the towel? Of course, of course, hundreds of times. I figured. I'm actually thinking about it right now. The goddess commanded me to subdue Gilgamesh and stop him from disrupting order. But I lost to him, became his friend. Ultimately, he did accept the goddess's will. But, but is that really a proper solution? Is that what you're wondering? It's been so long that I'm used to this now, which is also a problem. By the way, Master, where's Gilgamesh? Thanks for checking. You're the best in keto this one time only. That's really cool. I absolutely was not expecting. I now have four, four, five stars I've gotten from these pulls um, in less than 4,000, about 5,000 Master Gems worth. While I'm here, You got the variant grass Lucy? Oh, very nice. Panda, do you like how that variant style looks for the Lucy? I've looked at it. I don't have it, but it looks awesome, which is why I wanted to get it. some more storage slots here. Toss the Mihos over there. And special shop. In Indigo is a guy in the myth. Well, uh, I still think Indigo looks cool. And to me, it looks feminine. Has Anyway, could be a guy. In the myth too. Uh, oh, I'm still hunting for what I'm looking for. Oh, that was cool. I actually have a chance with a four-star variant to get a Lucy. I, I will probably try that. So one more worth of that should fill me up and get that special egg. So we'll get to that point. Yeah, I mean, you got a variant Lucy, which means you could make any of your other Lucy's the variant. So go with whichever one you like best. Uh, 
Um, that was probably one of my weakest pulls I've had. And then this pull should get me the rest of the way there for that egg. Oh, I'm literally eight points short. Um, I probably will get enough from my team. Or I could spend another 1200 and get the rest that I need. I probably am going to do that. My team will thank me for getting them some shards later, I guess. Do I have enough space for one more pull? Let's see. Yep. Alright, so that's going to have generated enough to have gotten the egg. Let's see what we get out of that. I got an egg. <laughs> over here and grab the eggs. Summon egg. Hit this one to start with. Fortify any unit. I am actually I'm completely filled. That's funny. Storage. Four stars. Sea star. All right. Actually, you know, I did want to look and just see if I have any other. If I have a single other variant four star, I could try. Mm -hmm. actually have her. I'm not going to use that one because I am trying to make a Nike. Although, yeah, I've got two Nikes. Um, I would need to have one more and then I can do two pulls with two variants for the 10% chance. And I do, actually. So I have you. I could take one of the Nikes. I could take the water Nike. That's three. I need one more variant hiding somewhere in my weeds that I'm willing to use. I don't know if I can use him. I can, I will. I don't think he's a, an allowable unit, though, for... for doing it. Could take her. Mm -hmm. 
Well, I have four selected right now. All right, so if I've got four selected, I need to get two a try. I need four more. One, two. Oh, you know, I have a Cupid. Oh, okay, I could try this twice. So if I have the Cupid, I might have to use the Cupid anyway, because it might not let me use the Toad. Oh, that's painful. I'm sorry about that. Oh, I got a five star. What did I get? I got a lighter dark uh, Valky. I actually just made my Evo three water Valky. So, so I guess she's going to be the first in the line for the water Valky at some point. Five star Astramon, any elements? Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I got really lucky on the poles and actually scored some of the shadows, which is how I ended up getting the Evo 3 shadow. Another Sun Wukong. I have a lot of Sun Wukongs now. Alright, so this is me trying. Oh yeah, you notice that the toad doesn't even show up as an option on here for one of the potentials. Yeah, I'm sorry that you gotta do that. But that at least is an option now. Oh my god! I got the variant! Yes! I'm so happy I got a variant. And it's a four. That's awesome. Man, now I've got to decide who I'm going to put that on. Because <laughs> I only have one. Uh, it's going to go with how they look. And which one I think looks the best. All right, this was an incredibly successful clan fest pull for me. I am very, very happy with the results. Um, the Lucy's, I've got a choice between a variant for, uh, I don't like how that one looks for the fire. So my choice really is wood, light, or dark for the variants for the Lucy. Um, water is not really choice. Oh, but she does it. That one has it with really blonde looking hair. Uh, Alright, so the wood is the one I was looking at earlier. And she is going to look like. Did I go by her already? It looks like I did. Nope. I think she's the one. That, for whatever reason, there's an extra green, and so she's off on the side. But this is what she looks like. She's got like this teal aquamarine color set going on, which actually I think looks really nice. Alright, then we've got lights. And the variant for lights. Honestly, I don't like how the variant for the light looks. I like the, I like the pink, like this color better. So I'm not going to do light. And then dark. Yeah, I don't like how the dark one looks either for the the color scheme. So I think I will probably go the wood, just because I liked how that scheme looks best. Um, every time I've done the Hero Dungeon, I've gotten Persephone Shards. Uh, I'm assuming you've beaten it each time you've done it. That's, been, that's a running assumption I have for you. 
I don't know if that's true or not, but I'm assuming that you have beaten it. Um, I am doing, each time I do it, I do the highest tier of it. So I do the most difficult one, and every time I've done it, I've gotten a shard and a little bit of gold. I'm going to pull out all my little baby astromons for merging purposes as I get them to show up. Oh, well, I mean, each time you do it, you should have, you should get to have, well, the first time I did it, I got the hero, I got a shard on each dungeon I've done, and I've done it for the two days it's been open so far. So I got, I have six shards now, but I guess if they're giving out eggs also, that's not terrible as long as you don't just get a normal egg out of it. Um, but I would make sure to do the most difficult version that you can do for the best chance of the, at the best reward. Oh. Um, I've been autoing it. I have a wood team that I've been bringing into it. I can show you the team composition I have just because it's defaulted it to all of these dungeons also now for whatever reason. It's a weird... It's I set that and now all of these the Starstone special elements on gold defaulted to it. So I've got a wood Odin, uh, my wood Banshee, the Evo th three wood dragon or Draka, and a wood Evo three um, Artemis. Um, you could probably get away with. I mean, the thing is you. You've got to be able to do two things in there, right? You have to be able to out-heal the damage you take, and you've got to be able to out-damage the healing they can do. So this, this is a very high hit point team with a defense break. Um, the Artemis does decent damage for me and good healing. You could probably, instead of the Artemis, if you have it, bring uh, an EVO 3 Maradorn because he's going to be healing your team, and he's going to have a defense break on them. Another composition to beat that team would likely be, be to bring your, uh, if you have a Wood Miho, Wood Miho in the lead, because she's going to have a defense break as well as her stun. Um, if you got her super evil like I do, that's going to make it even easier for you. Um, you could probably bring, if you have it, a wood Nyx. She's going to give you a team heal and constant, and basically constantly SP boost herself. The, I wouldn't bother with the wood Hanaheim. That's not going to do you any good. The wood Anubis, if you have him, you might be able to put, if you're trying to make a, just a a powerful quick attack team. Have him in the lead with his crit variant boost. Yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, you might be able to do some sort of monarch lead team. I'm trying to think how else you could build that to set that up. Yeah, these are my wood based units. I'm not sure what wood units you have. So, without knowing the wood units you have, I really couldn't say um, what would make a good team for you to try giving that a shot. Pretty sure I already did the ones. Oh, you know what? I didn't do them today. Well, I stand corrected about having done them. I'm glad I mentioned something, or I would have screwed up and not done them. Oh wait, no, I did do it. It showed a sword, but I've used the, all three of the swords already today. So they've already been done. Um, I'm going to be wrapping up. Astro, um, Amano, good to see you guys. Astro, um, I'm going to drop you a message here. Let's see. Whisper. 
What wood mines do you have? Okay, so text me or message me back on the Twitch chat. Um, and we can talk about, and I'll see if I can give you some suggestions for beating the higher level uh, Water Persephone team to get you those shard chances. Because I'm, I'm going to go ahead and wrap the broadcast up for now. Folks, I had an incredible pull set. That was awesome. Thanks for coming and watching. Um, probably won't be able to broadcast again until sometime next week. We'll see. But I'll, I'll keep you up to date. I do put these up on YouTube after I, after, um, I encode them. So you guys all take care. Talk to you later. Bye.